Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF. And today I am on with a requested video. Someone asked me, um, because yesterday I did a craft room tour and I showed my five memory decks card holders. Um, someone asked that I sh do a video showing all the memory decks cards that I have. And so as you can see, I have two smaller holders and three larger holders full of memory decks cards. I feel so lucky to have such a collection. I mean, it helps that I host swaps and participate in a lot of group swaps. Um, I think I definitely started my collection probably a year ago. And so I have all these memory decks cards that I've gotten in the last year and like I said, um, a lot of them are from the swaps that I hosted, and I'm very appreciative of everyone who has made one. So I'm going to go through them one at a time, and hopefully this will be a fun video, and you can definitely get some inspiration from other people's memory decks cards. Um, I, I just counted them, and there are, in fact, 80 memory decks cards that I have in my collection. So I am going to set these to the side and we will go through them one at a time. I had to lay these two smaller ones down to fit everything into the frame. <laughs> and we'll start with this one. Um, this, this memory decks card holder is a tutorial by BB's Craft. I will link it in the description box down below. And the larger memory decks card holders are is a tutorial that I have here on my channel, so I will link that one in the in the description box um, as well. So if you're if you want to find out how to make one of them, the links will be there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my best not to show any addresses because <laughs> that's not cool, but. I will tell you who each one is from. Uh, we'll start here with this one from Kelly Lynn's Crafts. Um, I'm not going to go through every single detail of every single card, but just look how gorgeous they are and appreciate the beauty. Hopefully get some inspiration. Um, so we have this one here. Love this large flower. And this dangle on it. Okay. Next we have this one who is from Tamika. Tamika Sending Smiles. I think I actually have two memory decks cards for her. Because she created one for... Um, this one is from my 1000 Subbies Challenge. And then I have another one that she sent me in a summer swap that we were paired up in in so this one is super gorgeous it's she's done a shaker with a um a, i think it's like a pocket one of those baseball card sleeve pockets um and so she uh put that on i she i think she glued it on and she's got some pom-pom trim she's got this lovely ribbon but this triple ribbon uh, triple loop uh organza ribbon bow and a little strawberry shaker in the center super cute this next one is from ginger who is ginger's plans crafts beauty on instagram and youtube this one she used a doodle bug collection i think it's super cute i love all the little crafting tools and the little kite it says hello friend Next, we have one from, oh, PJ's Kitchen Table Crafts. Um, this one I got in a swap that we were paired, a group swap we were paired up in. Super cute. Love the palm tree, and I love the paper she used um, in that swap. I, I still have the things that she made. They're super cute, the swaps, or the paper collections she used. 
Um, next, we have one from Allison Callaway, who is um, Ali Cadamus on Instagram and YouTube. This was from the Golden Girl swap that I was in. And so you can see the Golden Girl stamp there. And it says, thank you for being a friend. And then there's the, a telephone shaker on it. Lovely. Next is a really big one. Well, really tall one, I should say. It's the right um, width. And it's from Kim Levison, who is Kim's Scraps and Pieces on Instagram. And she used, I have this die. It's a huge, um, like as big as, like almost as big as my hand, um, mason jar shaker. And isn't it so cute? So sweet, sweetest berry in the patch. It's a strawberry shaker. She, she used some twine up here. She paper pieced this little strawberry basket with a mouse in it. Super, super cute. This is a big one, too. Oh, who's it from? This one has a pocket on the back, and it is from mom to create here on YouTube and on Instagram. And this is what she made. I love how she put this big plastic sun on there. And she used, like, I think these are wood veneer from Dollar Tree. So super cute. And Jimmy's up there. And then she's got this huge uh, triple layer blue tassel there. Very cute. Then we have this one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love the paper piecing on this one. She did a great job. This is from Patricia Powell, who is um, on YouTube. She's Twitchy Witch, Starlight's Creations, and more. So this is her little memory deck card um, that she... I think she just used like a regular memory deck card and then she this is a die I've seen this die on Timu and it's like a a bottle and then it has all like the, the killer whale and the waves and I just I love all the colors and the waves and then all the little paper piecing down here super cute and oh I do have two from Tamika sending smiles this is the other one from her um, this was in a fruit-themed swap that we did last summer. Very cute. And that's it for the first holder. Um, so I'm just going to set these to the side. I'll put them all back when I'm done. And we'll go through this holder next. I took a drink real quick. This first one is from Carrie, who is Carrie's Crafts. Um, this is um, one of like only two or three mini memory dex cards I have. I don't know how, let's see, because it's a mini one, it is only, it's about three and a quarter inches long and three inches tall, but super cute. She used Woodland Grove. She's got some gold thread that she's layered behind all the ephemera. She used some, worked some glitter on the flower. It's even got a little um, paper clip with a bow on it. Love that addition. Thank you, Carrie, for that one. This next one is from Lori, who is Lori underscore is underscore inspired here on YouTube and on Instagram. Isn't that so pretty? She used some, it's not a shaker, but she did use some tool here on the um, pattern paper. Um, backed it with a 110 pound cardstock. It can tell because it's really solid. Love a good solid mem deck. She used garden party. She's got a bow here with this little dangle. Super beautiful. This next one here is absolutely stunning. It is from Phyllis, who is at Prickly Pink Crafter here on YouTube. 
and isn't it gorgeous look at the layers on this thing i love it she's got the tool she's got a paper ruffle a doily these big sparkly gems she's got gold thread layered behind it all this flower super beautiful the die cut here in the background like I said I don't want to go over every detail of every single memory dex card because this will be a long long video but because like I said there's 80 of them but I do want to at least give it a few seconds of um screen time this next one is from brooke who is b northway designs here on youtube and instagram and isn't it gorgeous i think i have i have at least two memory text cards from brooke as well because she participated in my uh 1000 subbies challenge giveaway and we did a valentine's day swap so i have two possibly three from her <laughs> but that's okay i love the details of this one she used this one is very sturdy as well. I think she used 110 pound cardstock and gold foil and a pattern paper to layer this one up. So it's nice and sturdy. <clears throat> she used the Gingham Gardens collection from Crate Paper. Love this little floral die cut here. She's got some gold thread layered up. She stitched around the tag and this piece here in the back. And it says, you are one of a kind. Love all the details of this one. Then we have this one, who I believe is from, yep, Taiwana, uh, who is Miss T Creates here on YouTube and on Instagram. And isn't it beautiful? She, she sent me this one for my 1000 Subbies Challenge giveaway as well. And I love all the this one is that uh scallop circle die from chaos craft she's got a butterfly and these gorgeous floral stickers as well as these little foliage stickers or ephemera pieces or something sticking up there in the back a little flower here and some flower jimmies and it says love absolutely stunning Next is from, I think this one's from Anne. Yes. Love, love, love. She is, it doesn't have her, oh, here, wait. Her Instagram is Loca 71 I actually have two from her as well because she participated in my challenge. And she sent me one in our winter uh, loaded bag swap. This one she used Rainbow Avenue, and I love the layering that she did. She used some of this awesome pink mesh in the back, this flower, just super lovely. I love this. I, I need to get this die. I don't, I don't have it yet, so I'm going to pick that one up. It's in my cart on Amazon, so super cute. Love it. This next one I think is from Alice. I want to say I look at these all the time so that's why I know because <laughs> they are so in inspirational you know yes this one's from Alice who is my frugal wonderland here on YouTube and Instagram and she used a, either an Echo Park collection or a Cartabella collection super cute love all the layers she used foam tape to, to give it to give the different stickers different dimensions we've got a tiny bow up here a tiny rosette as well and she's got some pink metallic thread layered up behind her ephemera super cute i don't have this die either but and this is a good solid solid one as well thank you alice and look at this gorgeous one i don't i can't remember who it's from though hold on Susan, it's from Miss Susan, who is Susan Tunney. Now, she does not have an Instagram, even though I'm trying to convince her to get one. Um, but she, uh, um, she does, uh, she follows me here on YouTube, and she's a wonderful crafter. This one she sent to me in 
for my uh, challenge. And I just love this wreath that she made out of these metallic cardstocks, this bow, this butterfly she paper pieced together and put a little charm on. She used some lace, some, some beaded trim, just absolutely stunning. And this one has a little pocket on the back as well that has a tag with her info on it. Okay. And that completes this holder. <coughs> now we can move on to one of the bigger ones. Let's go with this one. This one has half regular um like memory deck cards like any like all year long memory deck cards and then this one has and then it has halloween um some of the halloween and fall memory deck cards that i got last year this first one is from miss lisa who is lisa dot baracko dot three on instagram we got paired up in a swap together, uh, uh, the this and that swap, hosted by Brittany, who is BB's Crafts, and she did this gorgeous, like, glam girl fashion, um, theme, so that's what her Mendex is, super cute, thank you, Lisa, next we have, ooh, a very, very layered one from Miss Erica Faye. And it looks like something might have fallen off of it. There's a random sticky dot here. Oh no. I hate that. Um, I wish I knew what was there, but I don't. Um, we have so many layers. Look how thick this thing is. Look at that. Oh, she used foam, she used a rosette, she used layered stickers, a wax seal, ephemera, jimmies, this glittery bow, super, this is very super pretty. I wish I knew what went there though. I think I've got a couple of them where things have fallen off and that's why you always want to, uh, I always make sure I use uh, hot glue when I'm sticking um, things on my memory decks cards because I know they go in a holder with um, you know other other things and things can happen so I definitely always use hot glue on mine but this is super super pretty thank thank you Erica Faye her her handle is um, at today with Erica Faye here on YouTube and on Instagram next we have a gorgeous one from Miss Diane, who is Diane's Designs on Instagram and on here on YouTube. She's at Diane Designs seven seven five nine. Super, this one is super thick as well. Look at all those layers. We've got fo two foam layers. We've got a paper ruffle. We've got this fringe butterfly embellishment. I need to get my hands on this die too. That's a scrap diva one. Um, love these flowers. Look at the vellum flowers she created. Super pretty. Thank you, Diane. Thank you to every single one of you. I know I haven't said thank you to everyone, but um, I really do appreciate having all of this huge, beautiful collection. This one comes from, okay, there's a pocket with a little uh, note tucked in. This one comes from Lang, who is, um, her name is Lang Wiltshire, and I believe her handle is <clears throat> mama underscore two two. I don't know. I can't remember it, but I will link hers in the description box since I cannot I'm not going to link everybody because I'll it'll take all day but I'll link the ones that I'm not sure who um I'm not sure of their handles um that's why it's always good to put your handle on the back of your memory decks card as well so that people know 
your address. She did put her address, but she didn't put her handle. So, but it's nice to have everyone's information on a little card that you can just flip through and find it and, and, uh, and send them some mail or something, you know, and this one is absolutely sunny. Look, there's a glue, there's a glue spot here as well. So something came off of this one too. And it looks like she even used hot glue, so it came off. I'm so sorry, guys, that things have come off of these. That makes me super sad. And it, I don't know. There's a little flower here. I bet this went on something. I, maybe it, Maybe this is what was on Erica's. Yep. Look, that's what was on Erica's. I will fix that. I don't know what could have been on this one though there's nothing else here in the bottom of it so i don't know i'll have to i'll have to see if i can find it but super gorgeous she's used ephemera pieces a paper ruffle a starburst die she sewed through she uh zigzag stitched through this sentiment beautiful there she stitched around this little stamp uh die cut she die cut this little boot that has flowers coming out of it and it's absolutely stunning and there's a vellum shaker there in the background can you see that absolutely and of course a dangle with a little paper tassel and a bead there's some gold thread sticking out everywhere absolutely beautiful <clears throat> This one comes from Miss Christy. I'm going to take a drink real quick. Who, okay, and Christy is K.M. Barnett on Instagram. Love this one. Super layered. Look at all those layers. She's got a little um, galloped heart that she turned into a tool snow tool shaker she's used stickles she stitched around these ephemera pieces and the tag she just used so many different layers and there's another little shaker she made here with some plastic or acetate she's got this gold tool in the back super gorgeous oh and a little dangle and this little ribbon sticking up so pretty now this one something came off of it and is is this it right here no i thought i i thought i saw this the other day this is a ouija board this one comes from miss lacy who is the cheeky bum here on youtube and instagram and there was a little 3d wooden um you know the ouija board tool that slid back and forth i am so upset that things have come off of my memory dex cards oh my gosh this is so cute she inked around the edges she um it looks like she splattered it with some some black distress spray or something there's a little spider uh, um flat back here but yeah there was a little movable three uh, like a ouija board tool i don't know what they're called but yeah it was super cute i loved this one i'm gonna have to try to find that Ugh. i'm gonna find everything that fell off of my memory deck cards dagnabbit okay this next okay so now we're getting into halloween of course um, ooh, I have two from Alice and Callaway as well. We did a Halloween swap together. So she is Ali Cadamus on Instagram and YouTube. This one's super sturdy. She's she used this die with the witch feet coming up. It says hocus pocus. She's got this shadow word witch here. Some she layered some tool behind the ghost. Love the spider web. She used some uh orange crepe paper to make it look like the fire under the cauldron and then she used a little piece of acetate to have this bat and the moon sticking up off of it how cool is that oh and there's a vellum ghosty i almost missed him <laughs> super cute <clears throat> and we have another 
the next few are going to be Halloween. Okay. This is all sideways. And this candy corn fell off of this frog. But anyways, so this one is from Janita Williams, who is plan.2.play on Instagram. Super cute. She's used some acetate. Um, these little uh, candies. Um, she's got this... Uh, pumpkin shaker gumball machine she's got a little cabochon glued on there this frog is actually on a um one of those bobble things but he turned sideways and this little candy corn fell off of him so i will fix that <laughs> and try to get him to turn back around but it says candy and it says treat yourself very very cute she sewed around the edges this next one is a 3D memory deck card. I was part of, um, I think it was Brittany's, um, Brittany Pochick's Halloween swap where we did 3D memory deck cards. This one actually does not have any information on the back. Uh, so I, there's a pocket on the back and I think that the information fell out. That's why the other day I said <laughs> some, you know, like, the idea of the pocket in the back is good, um, but then if, if it falls out, then you don't know who it's from, and I don't know where it is either, so that sucks, but this one's super cute. Oh, the bat just fell off. This bat goes here on this wire. I'll have to fix this. I'm going to have to fix a bunch of them, um, but it's like a little 3D cauldron, and she did have some goodies that she put in here. Because it's a huge pocket. Um, but she's got the bubbles. Some stars. The little spider web. It looks like it's missing another bat too. Because there's another little wire thing. And then. Um, we have. This crepe paper. Witch's broom that she made. And she, hang, she hung this little dangle from it. Super cute. Always make sure you're um, making. Um. You know, you're really making sure that things are glued on well because, well, things fall off in, in people's collections and then who knows if they can find it. <laughs> okay, this next one is from uh, uh, Kida Swan. Okay, so she is crafting with C2 on Instagram. Um, we got paired up in a... Halloween swap, and so this one is from her. Love the flowers on it. This one's bent a little bit, but super cute. This next one is a 3D, um, 3D Halloween one as well. And this was, yes, this was the, um, one hosted by Brittany Pocek. 3D Halloween memory decks group swap she put all the information on the back no address so I can't show it to you but she's Gracie Angel Creates there is a pocket on the back so maybe her address is in there and I just haven't seen it but it's a look how okay so there, there I, I believe she had some goodies tucked in here as well and um it's a shaker McDonald's you know the hollow at Halloween time for the Happy Meals, they come out with the um, little baskets. Well, this is the pumpkin basket, and she, that's what she designed it after. Um, she made the little face a shaker. Has these little stickers here, a bow here at the, a spider web bow here at the top, and there's even a dangle element. Oh, look, it's another little bucket. <laughs> How cute is that? I love this one. There's some seam binding there in the back. She's got this black um, glittery tool poking up. Super cute. Um, 
Okay, next is not a Halloween one. I can show you the back because there's no address. Um, it's from Crafts by XO. I can't I can't remember if that's how you or or is it Zayo? Because I think she said you pronounce it with a like with a Z, like as if it was spelled with a Z. But um, this one's super cute. It's a shape of a flower. She just used one of the bases and then added the uh, layered flower up there. A little die cut, a Jimmy. This little ephemera, and these little ephemera pieces that she popped up on the foam. And then, of course, some little jimmies. Super pretty. This next one is an autumn-themed one. It's from April Smith Robinson. And her handle is Scraps Happen 01. I'm not sure if that's on Instagram or if she's on YouTube, but Scraps Happen 01. And uh, she used a craft cardstock for the uh, background and this yellow polka dot paper, pattern paper to layer with. And she's got all these stickers here layered up and some rainbow drops. Moving on to the next one. Oh, I have two from Kim Levinson. Again, she is Kim's Scraps and Pieces um, on Instagram and at Kim Levinson on YouTube. She's got this little um, pocket here on the back so everything's tucked in. And then this is the uh, one that she made. It's another tall one. Kim is a paper piecer and I admire her crafting so much because I am not a paper piecer, but isn't it pretty? We've got a sunflower rosette. A little bee, this banner that says sunshine, a little pumpkin, a little birdhouse, just super cute. And then I love this green um, ribbon she's got here tied on a tag that she tucked in the pocket. Okay, now we're getting in. Okay, we have one more Halloween one. I love, love, love this one. It's from Cruise, Crafting Con Cruise here on uh youtube and on instagram and isn't it super cute she actually sent me this um chucky die and that in this halloween swap as well i, I believe it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one. i believe it was a group swap when we got paired up together so i've been so lucky i've i've done a one-on-one -on -one swap with Cruz, and i've been paired up with her twice so i may have more than one memory decks card from her as well <laughs> But I absolutely love this one. Super duper cute. And now we're going to get into... Uh, I have just two from Valentine's Day. This one is my second one from Brooke, who is B Northway Designs here on YouTube. Uh, she, so she just used this Memory Dex base. And this, uh, and then she sewed this little acetate or, or vinyl pocket. And she put a, a heart-shaped snap closure on it so it opens and she put a whole bunch of little die cuts in here for me to use next year for Valentine's Day. So thanks for those little goodies uh, Brooke. Love, 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 love this one. One more Valentine's Day themed one. I can get it out. And it is from Christie's Crafty Space here on YouTube. I I was paired with her in Mommy and Me Crafts uh, Valentine's Day swap. And so she used this little base um, from Memory Dex dot from a Memory Dex die. And then she used a little coin purse die that made it a shaker. Layered up these ephemera pieces, this bow, she put some little jimmies there on the opening of the coin purse, and then has the shadow sentiment that says deer with an arrow through it. Super, super cute. And the last one in this holder comes from um, 
Joanna Fowler, who is Junk Journal Treats on Etsy and on Instagram. And she used this envelope, this, uh, like envelope shaped die and she attached it to a memory decks base and um looks like she used some maggie holmes collections to decorate with super pretty okay that's it for that holder now we're gonna go through all the winter and christmas uh memory decks cards that i have because I have a whole holder of just winter and Christmas <laughs> because I hosted that um, winter themed uh, loaded bag swap. So this first one is my second memory decks card from Miss Anne Lacantro, who is Anna or Anne Loca seventy one on Instagram. It's a shaker snow globe and it's super duper cute. Love it. I'm going to pick up the pace here a little bit because we're already at 36 minutes. This is one of my mini memory decks cards. This one comes from Ty. Oh, Ty, what is your handle? It's not on here. I think it's TML Designs on Instagram. I'll uh, link her in the description box down below. In fact, I'm going to write down the people I need to link. So, Ty, and there was one other, I'll have to look through and remember who that was. I'll look at the video. But this one's super cute. It is three inches by two inches. She rounded the corners, has some little mint green pom-pom trim, and did some simple layering. Super duper cute. <laughs> this next one is actually missing something like an ephemera piece or something from the front of it because there's some there's an empty glue spot but this one comes from oh kathy kathy lang who is um on instagram she's scrap girl 2018 and on youtube she's canadian scrapper girl and this is her memory dex card like i said i'm so sorry to the people who is who have memory dex cards that are missing something but it looks like she used hot glue too and it still fell off that sucks i will definitely be looking for little random pieces around my craft room um but i love how she layered this and she's she's got like this um glitter acrylic snowflake she's got this glitter uh, this glitter cardstock snowflake this um rosette and then this ephemera um cluster she's got some little things up here and snow much fun i think she used feeling frosty from simple stories but that one i love the layering on that super cute i say everything's super cute i know this one is from Christine. I know I have at least two from Christine as well because she participated in my challenges and my winter loaded bag swap. But uh, Christine is eoru one on Instagram and here on YouTube she is Kawaii Memo Love. This one's, um, I love this, this uh, memory deck die with this little like fanciness here at the top. She's got some, um, ribbon layered back there some ribbon right here and then she did some simple layering very cute this next one is from marie who is m221 romero on instagram i hope i'm saying that right hi marie if you're watching um she used this purple glitter cardstock as the backing she used part of one of those acrylic glitter snowflakes from dollar tree a little heart a little resin heart some more hearts and then this little banner and she and she used one of those old school label makers to to print out winter very cute <clears throat> this next one comes from Anna Ruiz, 
Um, and she was in my Winter Loaded Bag Swap as well. I love this one. Like I said, I love this guy. I have it in my cart on Amazon and just need to pull the trigger. Um, she's got a rosette layered up. This little um, die cut piece with a snowman on it and some flowers here in the corner. Love the colors on that one. This next one is from Jennifer Wells, who is Raven underscore Lou underscore and underscore paper two. So Raven Lou and paper two on Instagram. And this is her memory decks card. So she used a little memory decks card base and then she used this mug die to make him look. She dressed him up like a snowman. Some little snowflakes, hot chocolate is a hug in a mug, and there's a little dangle on the end. Super cute. Oh, I love how she even used the little diamond dots on the cheek and for the smile. This next one comes from Danielle, who is Mama or or Ma'am Crafts a Lot on Instagram. This one's super cute. It's like a little um, envelope die, and um, it's got a little shaker here on the front, a bow, some tags tucked in the back. Just really in a little snow, a felt people snowflake right there. Just lovely. The next one comes from Leanne, who is P G C K S two thousand nine on Instagram and. I did not know you had an, a YouTube. I'm going to have to look at that. It's PGCKS Designs on YouTube as well. She also used Feeling Frosty from Simple Stories. She's got this little chipboard piece layered up on this pink um, rosette. Some jimmies. And she's got this little, oh no, there's another missing element. Look, there's a little piece of foam tape there. And yeah, what a mess. What a mess. I'm so upset. We have this little um paper clip that she made she altered to the little acrylic snowflake and used all these gorgeous ribbons here on the top. I'm so sorry it's missing something. But it is super cute. This next one is from Caprice, I believe. A little pocket on the back that has her. But yep, crafted by Caprice on Instagram. So a little pocket with a little envelope tucked in with her information. And I love this very detailed Memdex card. It's nice and sturdy. Appreciate that. And then she's used all these little uh, foliage die cuts. A little... Um, doily die cut, some banners, and then she paper pieced this gorgeous bird together. Very pretty. Next, we have a second Memdex card from Miss Lori, who again is Lori underscore is underscore inspired on Instagram and YouTube. She used this winter hat die from uh, Scrap Diva Designs and bossed it oh yeah we're getting on 43 minutes i gotta speed it up but i love the rosette the trim and the little pink puffy uh, pom-pom on top thank you Lori. this next one comes from jessica shook who is jess shook four on instagram she used the same collection i played with this winter winter wonderland from or Winter Wonder is what it's called from Simple Stories. Love the pink snow tool rosette. Like I said, I'm going to pick up the pace here. <laughs> Not to give anybody less screen time or anything. Just I uh, got to keep my videos under an hour. This this lovely uh, memory decks is from Kristen Dunifun, who is um, at Done in Fun. I'll cover up her address so I can show it done in fun on Instagram. And this is a very beautiful, simple, but beautiful memory deck card with the rosette and the layering. 
very pretty. This next one is from Leslie Levchuk, who is at Labor of Love on Instagram. Love this Shaker Mem Deck card. Um, I love this collection she used because it had a lot of unusual, at least unusual for winter colors. She's got a little tree die cut, um, the Hello Winter sentiment, and it's super cute. Um, I've got quite a few of these uh, winter hat style um, Memdex cards. Here is a second one from Diane, who is Diane Designs on Instagram and YouTube. I love the greens that she used in her swab. This one's super cute, and she's got a green tinsel pom-pom on top. She used some, like, fake snow here. Super cute. We've got another um, winter hat one. I believe this is a Scrap Diva Designs die. Again, they used the little pom-pom on top. And this one is from Larissa Homan, who is... Uh, October Avenue Crafts on Instagram and YouTube. She used the Snow and Coco collection. She did some snow, some sewing on this. And I love it. Um, another winter hat style one. I, I, okay. I believe this one is from Yancy, who is Yancy underscore creations on Instagram. This one had a little pocket that fell off uh, and the little thing fell off, but I do have it right here. So <laughs> I think this one is from Regency. Um, again, it's that winter hat one. She used a little blue and silver pom pom on top. And it's super, and did some stamping. It's super cute, too. This one. Um, has a pocket on the front, but it is from Caitlin Gray, who is, um, I'll have to link, I'm going to write it down, Caitlin. I believe her handle on Instagram is like Midwest Firewife, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'll link her in the description box. She's got this um, pocket here on the front, and she just added a little chipboard sticker and used the paper as the decoration. So there's that one. Oh, another winter hat die. This one is from Peggy McCurry Designs. On Instagram, she is PegMac71 and YouTube Peggy McCurry Designs. I love this one because she used this purple cardstock, and I swear it feels like fabric. It looks like fabric, and it feels like fabric because she used this embossing folder. She used these diamond dots all across the rim of the hat little buttons and twine and a little pom-pom on top super cute this one comes from Jennifer Hogue who is Hogue 9038 on Instagram and I think this one's super cute because it has a little pile of snowballs super duper cute another one of the same style Oh, here's my second one from Miss Alice, who is my, again, my frugal wonderland here on YouTube and on Instagram. She also, she used the blue snow tool and did a rosette and used this foamy, glittery uh, snowflake on it. Adorable. And, okay. Two more winter, and then we got two Christmas. This one has a pocket, so I gotta see who it's from. It's from Kylie K, who is Marsh Madoodle on Instagram. This one is like that file folder uh, style memory decks card, and so she used the pocket to put her information in, and she just simply decorated with the paper, and then some jimmies and these little snowflakes. Simple but pretty. <clears throat> this one is from Michelle Barra, who is Seaside Crafter 76 on Instagram, and she's just Seaside Crafter here on YouTube. She made, she used some vellum on this, 
didn't make it a shaker, but it does look like a little snow globe because of the vellum and yeah. Adorable. Next, we have one from Miss Christine Taggart, who is at Crafting Christine on Instagram. And this is super pretty. She used this star die cut on a memory deck base. And it's just, it just really simply, she put the wishing you joy sentiment and layered this fluffy white trim behind it. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Ooh. One more Christmas one. And this was a shaker, and unfortunately, the bottom opened, and all of the little peppermint pieces fell out. It makes me really upset. Maybe I can fix it. But this one is from my dear friend Judith, who is just a bit of Judith. Let me cover up her um, address, and her Instagram is just a bit of Judith on Instagram. And so this was a shaker. She layered up many layers of cardstock to make it thick. She used some Nuvo drops around the outside and let's put a little gingerbread man there. And now we are on to our last holder. So we're done with the winter themed ones. This one comes from Leanna, who is, it's a deal here on YouTube. I think I have two from <laughs> Leanna as well. I'm pretty sure I do because she was in one of my swaps and um, she joined my challenge. So this one is super thick, very layered. She's got a rosette and all this stuff layered up, plus these tr this crepe paper back here. The gold crepe paper and the and the tassel trim. Very pretty. Next, we have another mini memory deck card, and it comes from Julie Ferguson, who is at Craft Designs by Julie here on YouTube. She used a little uh, ladybug shaker, I believe that's from Scrap Diva Designs. Added some tulle, and it's super cute. This next one is from Brenda, who is live.lovecraft here on YouTube and on Instagram. This is that circle, uh, scallop circle die from KS Craft. She used the Rainbow Avenue collection, and this is just absolutely stunning. She also entered my challenge. Thank you, Brenda. Here's my favorite. Third memory deck card from Brooke, who is, again, at B Northley Designs here on YouTube and Instagram. She used the Flourish collection for this one, and I love it. Love this little dimensional sticker, too. Super pretty. Next, we have one from Miss Donna Lambert. And she does not have any social media, but she follows me here on YouTube. Hi, Donna, if you're watching. She also entered my Road to 1000 Subbies Challenge. And isn't it beautiful? Shoot, she definitely layered it up. It's nice and sturdy. She, It's simple, but layered and gorgeous. I love it. Super pretty. This next one is my second, at least my second one from Christine, who on Instagram is EeyoreRu1 and Kawaii Memo Love on YouTube. She, this is one is from the Road to 1000 Subbies Challenge. She did this whole Asian theme, and it's absolutely stunning. I love the little paper piece girl. She's so cute. Here is a second one from Leanna, who is, it's a deal here on YouTube and on Instagram. It's also layered up super chunky. I love this chunky crepe paper rosette, the little dangle, and all this layering. Super, super stunning. Here is my second memory deck card from Lacey, who is the cheeky bum here on Instagram. Uh, YouTube and on Instagram and this one's very simple but gorgeous 
I love this paper pad that she used. I love this gold lined uh, chipboard, the tool and the little uh, spread she layered behind it. We have one from Air who is scrap paper with Air on Instagram. She made this one a shaker using some, a some acetate that she sewed around. Crepe paper, ruffle, die cuts, ephemera. It's stunning. What can I say? Next, we have a little pocket Memdex, and it comes from Rosa, who is at Gemma's Hobby on Instagram. This is another simple but beautiful one. It's the one with the uh, scalloped pocket on the front. She used this pink pattern paper and then layered up this these butter this butterfly um, here and this butterfly sticker. And then there's even a butterfly bangle charm. It's very pretty. Next one comes from Shauna Hunter, who is my reality crafts here on youtube and instagram another simple but gorgeous one i love this color blue organza ribbon i don't always craft oh wait yes i do <laughs> that is so me so me this one comes from stacy who is at handmade underscore by underscore stacy on instagram and this one is super pretty as well. I love those flowers, the swan, and the crepe paper ruffle. Hello, my friend. This one comes from Miss Vanetta, who is Dora's underscore girls on, nine on Instagram. This one um, looks like a little suitcase, and she used you can see what she did love the little bow love the sequence trim and the dangle very pretty this next one comes from sharon who is from cheap to chic here on um youtube and she uh used a tool shaker here very very pretty love this paper she participated in my very first swap that i hosted and sent me this one so thank you sharon so check it out this one actually i have no clue who it's from because they're they didn't even write a name on the back or anything so that's sad, but it is pretty. I just wish I knew who it was from. I love the little bow with the dangle. Hey, if you're watching and you made this, let me know who you are and I'll put your information on the back. Thank you. <laughs> this next one is from Amanda, who is at HeyAmanda101 on Instagram. And... And YouTube. I didn't know you had a YouTube. I gotta check that out. Okay, the circle, scallop circle die from um, KS Craft. She used Woodland Grove. I think she used the digital uh, collection and printed these out on that shimmer paper. So pretty. The little leaf die cut. It says, keep hoping. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. This next one comes from Donna Quintero, who is simply Donna Quintero on Instagram. It's This one has the little front pocket, and it's simple but gorgeous. She used some seam binding here on the front, and a little uh, vellum doily and a clear floral sticker, and it says free to fly, and some jimmies across the top. This next one is a second one from Miss Air, who is Scrap Paper with Air. Um, cover her address. That's her handle on Instagram. And 
this is the second memory deck card I have from her. We've been paired up twice in swaps as well. She used, no, this one, this, so we were paired up in a swap, and then this one she sent in because she participated in my first hosted swap. She used Round Trip by Maggie Holmes, and she made this one a shaker. Love it, love it. <clears throat> is this my second? No, this is my third one from Miss Alice because she um, is always participating in my swaps and she participated in my challenge as well. The swap was uh, the Layered and Belly Kit Swap hosted by me. And this is the first Memory Dex card I ever received from her. Super duper pretty. I think she used the collection Willow and Sage. And, um, yeah, the paper does a lot of, uh, decorating for you. And, but then she added the little, um, elegant frame in the back and this butterfly here. And it says lovely. This one comes from Miss Glory, who is Paper Crafts by Glory on Instagram and YouTube. She used that crepe paper collection called, um, oh, what was it called? Moonlight Magic or Midnight Magic, one of the two. I can never remember. <laughs> I'm so bad. But I love this. I love the florals in this collection. It is absolutely stunning. It says Making Wishes. This next one is from Miss Annie. Hi, Annie, if you're watching. She is Annie Paper Crafts on Instagram. And she sent this in my first hosted swap as well. I love the little dangle. Love the purple. It's very cute. Two more. Two more, guys. This one comes from Miss Erica Rufo, who is a... Uh, Crafty underscore Missy on Instagram. It's a shaker heart. And isn't it cool? It's got those micro seed beads in it. She used the strawberry milkshake collection by Frank Garcia. Layered up these flowers and these strawberries. And it's and she used this gold wire. It's like a like a jewelry wire almost. And I love the way that looks. Beautiful. Love the sound, too. Okay, last. The very last Memory Dex card, number 80, is a repeat. from. Uh, so this is the second one I have from Miss Shauna Hunter. She participated in my first ever hosted swap as well. And this, and this one is from, uh, from that swap as well. She is My Reality Crafts on YouTube and Instagram. And this is the one that she made. Love, love, love the layering. The, I love that blue uh, rosette. And it says, be kind. Very pretty. Okay, guys, that does it. That is my complete, complete Memory Dex card collection. All five of my holders. I'm going to have to make another uh, holder before I get any more Memory Dex cards. But thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you found some inspiration. And thank you to every single one of you who has sent me a Memory Dex card. I love, love, love my collection. Alright guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.